Okay, here's another interesting position against another pretty strong player. So I was playing white here, and I played bishop h3. And my opponent made a really drastic decision that led to him losing the game. In the game, he played f5. Just guy is, is predicting very well what the result will be in each game. After f5, they has lost the game. Um, it was a fight, but not that much of a fight. So what should black play here? The question is, what should black do? And how should they be calculating to find the answer? When should they stop? I think he stopped right here at this position. He said, there's a threat of bishop takes d7. And I should not allow bishop takes d7, which is why he played f5. But I think with a little bit more calculation, you know, a search for more ideas, that kind of thing, it's going to be different. Okay, so we have a suggestion of queen e7. That looks interesting. Any other suggestions? Okay, also queen c7. So chess guy, what's your idea? What if white just plays bishop takes d7 then? Okay, so you're going to play rook d8, is that the idea? Okay, so I guess the next thing that I would look at, because that's a very good idea, right? We, we want to win the piece back after allowing it to come on d7. We would just see what's the difference between these two. This is another example of a time when someone could just stop calculating. They just look at one of them, they're like, that works. And then they move on with their merry lives. Is there any difference with queen e7 and queen c7? Yeah, bishop c5 could be an idea. So maybe it would be like queen e7, bishop takes d7, rook d8, and something with maybe bishop c5. Does it matter, though? Yeah, it doesn't work. So I think they're actually very similar. I, I would have chosen queen c7 just because in this opening, the queen frequently goes on c7. After bishop d7, rook d8, the piece comes back. And this is probably the, the best way to play for black. So this was an interesting miscalculation on my opponent's part. He's like 2300, he's been 2400 something. Um, and he played f5. And after e takes, g takes, he had a kind of weak king. And, and things got really complicated. I don't really want to drop names, especially for players that I respect. But um, but yeah, he was a good good player. 